Thank you. What the hell is Harvey doing? He's supposed to be deposing Elliot Perkins. He's with a client. I don't care. We have a deposition. Don't even try it, Lewis. I'm sorry. Let's let's just start over. Okay. Hi, Donna. Hi. You know I like you, right? But in the firm's food chain, I am a humpback whale, and you are phytoplankton. June 3rd, 1997. <laughs> that date means nothing to me. Doesn't it? Who told you? Is the important thing how I know or that I know? Does Harvey know? He can. I'm going to pay you. I just don't have cash on me right now. So I'm going to just tell Norman to run her old ass out to the ATM and then bring it back as you. Mm. <laughs> I don't want your money, Lewis. I just want you to. I was not here. I was not here. I was not here. All right, let's get started, shall we? Isn't Harvey Specter leading this deposition? He sent me. Now, Mr. Perkins, my first question to you is, do you sleep well at night? Of course you do, because you have a roof and a bed and running water. And by contrast, thousands of families are going to be sleeping on the street when Stable Shelters is forced to suspend their operations, all because of the money that you stole. I never stole anything. Your Maslow's number two. Money was embezzled. Do you deny that? Absolutely. Please, Robert. I know as general counsel, you just basically push paper, but will you please warn Mr. Perkins of the penalties of perjury? Look, I'm not aware of any perjury. We know about your account in the Caymans. $20 million. Are you, are you kidding me? That transaction was legitimate. Oh, when I take this public, you're going to be disgraced. Your wife, your children, your whole family disgraced. Would you show my clients and, respect? And that transaction had nothing to do with the firm. Bullshit. You either took your cut from Maslow or it was hush money. Either way, you're going to live the rest of your life as a pariah Will you give up Maslow now? Is this a deposition or an inquisition? This is ridiculous. I can show you the records. Oh, sure you can. Because you're the guy who invented losses in mortgage-backed securities when you never even bought them. I had no part in that. But you were aware of it, and you did nothing about it. Come on, Lewis. I can get a glass of water, please. You can't get any water. We don't have any. You can give up Maslow now, and this all stops. All right, right. My client needs a break. We can continue this in 10 minutes. I'm just getting started. I don't get it. She looks so sweet. Don't let the photo fool you. She's less girl next door, more girl with a dragon tattoo. Mm. Look, my plate's full with stable shelters. I need you to look into Jerome's daughter. Why didn't you just hire a private investigator? Because if there's a problem, an investigator can't fix it. I'm not just a lawyer to Jerome, OK? I'm, I'm more like Robert Duvall and The Godfather. His consigliere. OK. <clears throat> what? Uh, nothing. Just, if you're his Robert Duvall, you're coming to me, so... Technically, I'm your Robert Duvall. You're my Fredo. Fredo? No. Robert, what the hell happened to Perkins? Ask that pit bull of yours. Uh, oh no. Actually, I prefer a female masseuse. That... Can I call you right back? Right back. OK, back. Perkins just got wheeled out on a stretcher. Well, he couldn't handle the heat. He's probably faking it. What were you thinking starting that deposition without me? I don't know. Maybe if you were doing your job. Oh, no. What? It's from Geller. Perkins wasn't faking anything. Our best chance to nail Anthony Maslow is dead. <laughs> 